He's talking about the smartphone that's breaking the mold. Rogers announcing a new phone coming into Canada next month that will change the way you see smartphones. Of course, our gadget guy already has his hands on it. In fact, you had it back in December. You included it in your favorite tech toys of 2014, so I remember this. Yeah, and you know what? It was announced almost a year ago, probably right. about nine months ago in Barcelona, Spain, and it took this long to actually hit the market. Right. Just coming to Canada next month, but uh, a lot of buzz about it, and for good reason. It is really interesting. Uh, so this actually is kind of a take on the Galaxy Note 4. Right. Uh, so it's one of the smartphones that has a stylus built into the bottom of it, uh, which is really handy because you can write on the screen, things like that. Uh, but other, so a lot of the features actually are similar to the Galaxy Note 4 in terms of specs. Uh, the really fast processor on this mm -hmm. guy. Camera is really impressive too. Very 16 nice. 16 megapixel camera the in the Samsung's back. The Samsungs take very nice pictures. They do. Yeah. And it's hard to believe that most people now just carry a phone around instead of point and shoots because they are so good. Yeah. 16 megapixels. Yeah, it's That's really That's lots. Nice. And then plus a, a 3.7 megapixel front camera for those who like to take the selfies. Um, <laughs> but what's it? Yeah. Hashtag Andrew Schultz. There's a few out of there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and another feature I like is the fast charging. It will charge from 0 to 50% in 30 minutes. That's pretty good. It is pretty good. Yeah. And so I thought I'd put it to the test. I, as this morning at exactly 7.36, it was at 51% charge. At 8.09, it was at 91%. So it went up 40% in 33 minutes. So it's pretty accurate. It yeah. does charge pretty quick. But of course, the main thing is the screen. It curves around the side. So look at that. It's pretty nice. It's, it's pretty neat. It looks cool. It does. But why would you want that, right? right. That's my okay. question. So the idea here is that it actually takes some of your shortcuts at the bottom of the screen, puts it on the side so it frees up more real estate right. on, this, on the screen. And there's a lot of other features that uh, involve the wraparound. So uh, number one, so there's your shortcut there. You got your mail and things like that. But if I scroll down from the top, you have some unique tools. If I click on that, it turns into a ruler. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean it's kind of weird, right? Like, do you really need a ruler that's only <laughs> I can't 10 centimeters? remember the last time I had to measure something, but you know. <laughs> but sometimes sure, it happens. Sometimes it happens. So things like that. There's a ruler. Uh, you know, you have a stopwatch. So little tools that are just at your fingertips. Yeah, that's um, neat. What else? A flashlight. It's kind of neat. Um, but other than that, you can customize and personalize uh, everything on the side. So let's put a, see if I can back back out of there. Uh, so if I swipe from this side. Mm -hmm. I have a Twitter feed, so that's my Twitter account. Those are all the things that are trending in Calgary and Canada right now. Right. And if I actually click on one of those, it'll take me right to the website. And it, so it scrolls like a ticker. It's a yeah. ticker. Uh, I'll scroll again. Uh, we've got all the stocks. Right. Wow. I'll scroll again. I've got the NHL highlights or any sports that you want. Uh, so you can customize these for news tickers and things like that, completely customize it. Plus, you can have fun with it and put your own fonts in there. So I actually have something that's like Mike's smartphone right. that if, will come up. If it's sleeping, is that still going? No, it's not going, okay. unless you want it to. You can you make can. it going, but by default, it goes to sleep. Right. And However, so I'm glad you mentioned too. sleep. I'm gonna, I still have the flashlight on. I'm going to turn that off. Um, but when you mentioned sleeping, this is probably one of my favorite features. And it's, I can't really show it on screen, uh, right. on TV, because of the lights in the studio, but when you go to bed, you put this down, and a, a night clock pops right. up on the side. So you can actually see the time and the date. Now, I, I don't think you'll be able to see it. It's really, it's really, really dim, dim yeah. but that's what I love about it. The fact that you can put this by your bed, you don't have to pick up your phone to see the time. It's, it's on right. the side, and it's I not like too that. bright for the room. This. Sounds gimmicky, the side screen, but the fact is no, they're like opening that. up to developers, mm -hmm. so who knows where it's going to go with the, uh, the idea of what you can do with the side screen. It really is one of my favorite phones in the last few months. It's pretty cool. All right. It's coming to Rogers uh, February 18th. It's going to be about $400 the contract. It'll be a little bit more pricey without a contract, mm -hmm. um, but it's worth checking out. It's a pretty cool phone. Samsung Galaxy Note Edge. High praise. You heard it here. Gadget Guy Mike Yanni, thank you. I like it. Yeah. Uh,